and with installing Linux I have to select my USB drive then I believe I select English and install and it shouts at me great Hi there and welcome back to another episode of the 32-bit rant and today we are looking at running Linux there we are, on my Dell Latitude D400 which will be in a card up there right back in the area anyway first of all we need to travel back in time to me trying to download Ubuntu for the laptop Now that it's fixed, I've managed to get it to work by forcing the physical address extensions. I'll report back once I've hopefully got it working. <music> Right, well, Linux is finished installing, so now what we have to do is wait for this to boot again. Uh, right, ignore the flashing battery light, by the way, it keeps doing that and I cannot work out why. Well, that's better for can't show the screen now. Right, come on. Wait. Right, that's always a start. And I'll just log myself in a wee second. Right, everybody, that's that video button now. Now we are connected. Let's go into the internet and Google things, look things up and stuff. Basically, the main purpose for this laptop was so I could use it again, you know, for light web browsing, light document making and so on. And well, it does all right there. Uh, let's just go to google.com. Bear in mind I'm only typing with one hand, so that's a slight disadvantage here. Here's Google. And we can look in cats. And go to images and we get pictures of cats and the weird one there from the musical but we don't talk about that well there we have it i finally managed to get my Dell Latitude to become usable again so hopefully this has been a good wee experience for you to watch perhaps it's, it's easy to, enough to point out now that Linux isn't as scary as people make it out to be. Like, I had 
absolutely no experience on how to use it before last. In fact, I've never used it in my life before. But now that I've used Lubuntu, I would highly recommend it. Uh, plus, it can give, you know, your ancient, decrepit and desktop is hiding away somewhere a wee bit more life than what perhaps was quoted by using Microsoft Windows. I'm not saying it's going to be an alternative to Windows because I still need some proprietary apps. Thank you very much, Microsoft. But it's a good wee alternative if all you're doing is Googling, maybe, uh, I don't know, using word processing and so on. If that's all you're doing, then you're probably fine. Read an email as well. So with that, I will say thank you and good night.